you're um, getting lake water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um, be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. And might be good to see if Daisy has calmed down some. A question for the ages. Sophie's so poised. If she's feeling anything like I am, I sure can't tell. Come on, Sophie. I would have thought you had more respect for art. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. Oh, don't worry, Safi. I will. I've kept plenty of secrets from Safi as well. I liked it better when Safi and I broke into places together. You do not know the bullet you dodged last night. On this side, the memories are shut up where they belong. God, that smells amazing. I haven't had pancakes in a million years. Johnny cakes, actually. I used to skip school sometimes and make them with my grandma. And they're made with real jar? You are so annoying. No, they are not. And they go best with mulberry jam. Oh no. I've only got grape. Then I guess you'll have to make it up to me. Alternate Max's life seems so uncomplicated. Unless that's also a shape-shifted Safi. Nah, Safi can't cook. Glad you're down from the fridge. Do you want to come out and meet a new friend? Come on. She's chill. I mean, she can inexplicably manipulate reality, but so can I. Weird world we live in. Okay, I understand. I'm not great around strangers either. Maybe next time. Have we been through enough together? Can I get a high five? <gasps>
This is literally the best moment of my life. <laughs> we bonded. Dude, your life is about to change. Daisy, let's immortalize the moment. This is the pinnacle of my career. Glad to see you two crazy kids are getting along. I just need some dry clothes. I have so much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman. Never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie, too. So, you're what happened a shapeshifter. On the lake? You've powers? got powers? Oh. Here. Person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left, mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. So. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. 
There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one, except... You're... dead. Okay. I'm gonna need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh... Unless I can figure out why, and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. How exactly do you... shapeshift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it... Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. <laughs> oh. My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privilege into all the cool powers? You'd think so. But rewinding was too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh. The things I would undo the bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. 
Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I was trying to protect your feelings. Bang up job there. Aren't we supposed to be friends? Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. I thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... self-defense. Your impression of Amanda? <laughs> I have some notes. <laughs> Good enough to fool most people. I thought you were most people. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone? Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Both romantic and oddly dark. There's a reason Vin's a drama major. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... We kind of made out. Oh, Max Caulfield, you dog. <laughs> well, the Vin from the other timeline, the one without you. Still counts. I guess I should let you ask me something now. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What... what changed? You know how I don't talk about where I'm from? Well, where I'm from is gone. Because of me. I saw an article about Arcadia Bay in your memories box. That was a freak storm. I was the freak. And I was the storm. 
my powers went haywire, and I had a choice. Save the town, or save the girl that I... I chose her, the blue-haired girl. Hearing her, seeing her get shot in a dirty high school bathroom. I couldn't live with that. So I undid it. And a whole town died. I didn't dare use my powers again. Not till I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her, not really. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book? Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Finn, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Sophie. <laughs> What if, 
What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? No. I don't think so. Or maybe... I hope not. To start. <laughs> I trust you, Max Caulfield. Enough for both of us. But Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas, justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers... And we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I'm here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. <laughs> Sophie has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas. You can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. <laughs> okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager.
It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. It's been all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up. Ben, he's the MC tonight, so we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do, but I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. Sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway. Heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns. that it leans. It gives it character. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Much better than expected. It it's good to see Gwen here, in spite of everything. That's great. That's what we want. Hey. Just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah. You were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. Got fired anyway. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, man. I'm... So sorry. So is... Is that what you came over here for? Sophie has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized... How much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. Forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. Hey, 
Long time. <laughs> Safi's as subtle as a flying brick. Trust me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left. I'm no ass assassin team up. Tim, I literally saw you yesterday. Classy. Just feels like it's been a really long. Krampus, young man! One more beanie and this thing's a goner. Hmm. Rowan. I don't know them. I'm just your friendly. A Krampus in the wild. Your unfriendly neighborhood, Krampus! Say cheese, Krampus. I How couldn't Reggie have been Krampus. <sighs> It'd fit him better. Ew, is this Latin? Why? I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. It's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Yo, what's got you looking so nervous? It's Krampus. Chill out and have a cinnamon whiskey. She better be making a fortune in tips. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas's idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just... my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. Out, why do you need his advice? Because we're part of the same grad cohort? I care. So, this is the projector. Looks expensive. Opportunity outside acting. There. Yeah. This works much better. I'd love getting any one of these. I'm the art print. Really? Oh yeah? Where's your grappling hooks and stuff? This Moses isn't in on the plan. Hey guys. Max. Hey. to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more of the party. See you guys. Maybe Loretta turned up something that'll explain my unexpected house guest? But why would you pull pranks? You're a superb artist. Sorry, Amanda. This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us. Even though he won't see any of- Hey, Moses. 
Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's amazing. Red lights everywhere and baby doll heads on the tree. It's... Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yeah. I'm making the slideshow happen and Sophie's working on Vin. Cool. Let me know if I can help. Somehow. For sure. It's not you. It's me. I just don't understand. Everything was going so well. <gasps> That's adorable. No, I told you. <laughs> Amanda is not as busy here. Ready for the school year to be over? I am. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? Be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Move over, quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask Mr. Krampus for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Guess no one was up for going out tonight. College students love to barter. I can't believe this. Yeah, sucks, bro. Whoa, this looks cool. Wonder if Diamond's making another film. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Just one. Hate it when that happens. He must have just followed you from your dorm. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... letting someone else worry about the projector tonight? Yeah, right. It'll be on me if something goes wrong. This thing is probably worth more than my whole tuition. So, so ma'am, uh, please, gonna need you a few steps back. Yes, sir. Okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things.
What's up? We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's got to go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. Don't worry, Olga. We'll only break you a little bit. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. You mean there are more controls? I'm not touching anything until I hear from other Moses. Hey, something I recognize. This thing runs like a well... Calibrated? I'm not touching anything until I hear from other Moses. Maybe Reggie did see her. Did you have to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, Moses stop by is giving the me instructions from the other on the side. Right side. I'd better listen in. You mean there are more controls? Okay, this is kind of like a camera. Kind of. You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch to focus mode to me. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. It doesn't take too long, right? Flip one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. 
Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening, oh god? That would have distracted me too. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. This has to be the nerdiest picture I've taken all year. Hey, again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Brain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Think about what's best for Olga. No offense, Reggie. Oh, none taken. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Safi are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. We'll see. All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I 
I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Hello and welcome to Get a Clue with Loretta Rice, the only homegrown Lakeport true crime podcast. This week we're talking about a series of break-ins that culminated in a cat napping. If you're a Lakeport local, you'll remember Jackie and her cat. Their collaboration won last year's Local Artist Showcase Award when the little furball walked across Jackie's still wet canvas. We'll throw Jackie's contact info into the show notes, so get in touch if you know anything. Now, moving on. Man, has Daisy been a distinguished artist this whole time? Let me shoot Jackie a message before tonight gets any more out of control. Sophie's talking to Vin. I bet she won him over. Can I borrow Sophie for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house. Aww, is he? Yeah, but his chimney broke. You mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it.
voila. Guess who it's from? It's... for real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome. Moses got to make one last house with Safi after all. A true team effort. Ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board too. Damn. <laughs> Hope it's not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yep, <laughs> that's definitely Safi. I better go back up. Safi, out on the... Patio. So, uh, remind me what the plan is again, Alexa? We're gonna corner the... Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. You have strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah, that Vin chose Smash too. Uncanny how much Safi looks like Loretta here. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's very kind of you, Max. And very true. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. 
You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right. Sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. Thanks, Max. That young woman was aggressive. Loretta looks up to you. All the students do. I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> He was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were going to puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Hey, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me. Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. I told you, Max. I trust you. Here, I'll hold on to it. Happy? Thanks. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanello. We love you, Mr. Colmanello. Fair warning. He's going to say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to waste. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh, I wanted to announce some surprising news. No. My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. 
<laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Woo! What? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft? Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. I need to get away with this. You don't know what you're talking about? Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> Uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horse shit, Coleman Arrow. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. Because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen. Trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, Highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you! Wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. What are low, you doing? I'm I changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your really chance to tell everyone God. your side. Shouldn't you go up there as yourself? Anyway, are you serious right now? Right. If of speaking course. my truth worked, we wouldn't it's be here. I am serious. Come. Superpowers but aren't the answer to I every problem. I would know. News with the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature Trust you. film. We have to get in this time, Max. This is Vin's so, turf, not mine. Send me your cast list, friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself?
You're right. We have to get him this time. Go, Esven. Now, I did have some actual slides of my own, if we could... On second thought, we are just getting started. What the hell are you doing? Didn't you hear what I said? Just so your side is clear, what we can all plainly see on this slide here, it's not stealing, it's... Inspiration. Any artist can attest to getting inspiration from the work of... Uh, nah, uh, uh, uh. Don't try that on me. You can't out-fake the faker. All of you know me. I'm bullshit. <laughs> I'm a liar and a coward, and I make decisions out of my own self-interest. Why do you think I left the stage before? Fear of justified reprisal. But fuck that because you piss me off lucas colmanero this book has been I don't bother i know what you're going to say your book is so important it's helped so many people so where's all that great crucial timely work lately professor why haven't you written a single thing since i i'm producing fine work the trees that are slow to grow bear the best fruit. This fucking guy! Still stealing after all that! That's Moliere, dickhead! It's just a quote. Well, then you can quote me on this. I don't care if it's something everyone does. I don't care if you never intended to hurt her. A girl is dead! and you're still pulling in royalty checks. You're a fucking monster! I would have made it up to her! It would have been fine, but no! That little idiot ran off and... Wait. That's not what I meant. We... We were planning to publish together. She and I had a... Magnificent. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. That must have been hard for Amanda to watch. Hey, Amanda. 
Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> See, Diamond? Us adults are just as confused and messed up as anyone. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man, the fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. Sounds great. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. That worked out better than I expected. <laughs> Who knew Vin had it in him? He surprised me. Didn't feel so great what Lucas said to me, though. It meant a lot to Sophie that you came forward. Yeah? Thanks, Max. So, what happened? Lucas... Uh, ...reminded me that we're not the only ones who can make threats. It's not important. Well, we got him in the end, so... ...no harm done, I guess. Poor Safi. I'm worried. She's around here somewhere. You remember that cow skull thing? I wasn't covering up for Gwen. Just once? I'd love it if you said what you mean. Just keep an eye on Safi tonight, okay? Fine. See you around, Ben. We got him. But I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. There was a moment where things could have gone either way. It was that close. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Made my entire year. Mine too. 
So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Sophie? Where's Sophie? Sophie wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that? <sighs> It was my book! I can't, I can't! I can't! Believe you! Believe you! Do this! You lied to me! You lied, you lied to, to me. me! You lied, you lied to, me. to me! You lied 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 to me! Headaches are getting worse. You look really sick. That won't be any help right now. Headaches are getting worse. You know, I thought we were good, finally. We weren't perfect, but what family ever is? I was so stupid. You've never cared about anyone but yourself. No, no you don't. You only care what I do for you, and your reputation, and your legacy. If you actually gave two shits about me, you would actually listen to me. Or, God forbid, let me make my own mistakes. I trusted you. You're my mother. Not I'm here. supposed to be Look able to trust you. We have hope, you know. We saw a future. Whatever's happening here, what is she doing? What does this mean? It's all going down, isn't it? Yeah, but where? Where, where is that all? You know? Sure, I thought you know. <laughs> Girl flings herself from over me. Classmate shock. Mother's surprisingly okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Sophie, hold on. This reminds me of. 
Never mind. Safi, wait for me. Almost there. Hold on, both of you. Sophia, please. I was trying to... Say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Sophie, listen to me. are hurting people. The whole campus is in danger. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen. My own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years. Since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I feel! <laughs> Sophie? Remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again! I can't do this again, Sophie! I can't sit by and watch everything get wiped away! Please, don't make me! Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea! How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you weren't controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy uh, tea. Uh, oh my god. Your mom, you never needed her help. This isn't you, Sophie. It was me. Oh, Sophia. This gun was the only choice I've ever really had. I failed! 
didn't stop me. 